Hey bitches, welcome back to my channel. I'm sitting here once again. <laughs> Love my life. We all know the introduction. Yeah. And we are a little baked right now. Mm -hmm. And we decided, you know, drama's been slow. We don't want to come on here and talk about James Charles Ugh. once again. Ugh. I kind of wanted to talk about that family that like murdered their dog. Oh, like where have, they, where have they been? Uh, People need cares? to dive into that a little who bit knows? deeper. But instead, we are going to react to a video that is going around about Gabby Hanna right now oh, wait, on Twitter. That it's not Gabby Hanna anymore. Oh, it's Krabby Gabby. Krabby Gabby. Because <laughs> so, she's always Krabby. <laughs> so Krabby Gabby is still up to her tricks over there on Twitter, <laughs> and she did a video. I guess she has like a Discord or something where she does like private video her chats Patreon with her followers. friends. She calls them her friends, but you know it's the people that pay. To, I find that weird. Like, like it's so strange that there isn't a, a full grown adult ass woman hanging on to all these kids and yeah. talking to them privately. Like, if this were if my kid, if I had a child, yeah, and they were like, "Hey, mom, can I use your credit card to give Gabby Hannah like twenty dollars no. a month?" I'm like, no, sweetie. No, Stacy. No. no, you no. can't. <laughs> no. So Gabby was on one of these video chats. Not sure where it was, where she was doing it, who she was talking to or whatever. But, you know, she was on there. It looked like a Zoom call. She was giving a lot of information, as Gabby tends to do. And she was telling Over them Oversharing, if you will. She had this person DM them. That she thought this person was someone. And it turned out it wasn't this person, but she had them DM her on Instagram then had them click a link so she could go and see what their IP address was. And then that wasn't good enough because she's like, oh, maybe they could have a VPN. Uh, so then okay. she said she told them to send her a video clip of who they were so she could review it. And then in her mind, she was like, oh, wait a minute. Maybe no. Maybe it really is this person. But she has a friend that's like, oh, I'll cover for you and I'll say this is me. Like, look at this clip of Gabby and then we'll talk. I got you. I love that. Thank you. Um, my breaking point, which there was this kid, I don't know if you guys saw, um, sweet little boy named Mason. Um, and I was so, so, so convinced it was somebody else because of something they had said. Um, and I had them like follow me on, or I had them message me on in, like Instagram to see the account and then had them click a link so that I could see their IP address and have them send me a video. But then once I got the video, I was like, oh my God, this video, this person has sent me videos from somebody else before. So I know this person is capable of having somebody else send a video because they're a grown adult who interacts with young children in a way that's inappropriate. And, um, gets like gets them to do stuff for her like send a video being like hey i'm this person like so the video i was like oh, okay but i still can't be sure if it's actually this person and then i asked them to uh click something so i could see their ip address and where they were and then i saw it and i was like yeah but they could have a vpn and then i was just like dude this is how I feel right now that every time I talk to it, the fact that you have to go through all that, it's exactly. just stupid. Exactly. And I'll never do it again. And like, I shouldn't have done it in the first place. I was just like, so con I was so convinced that this was this person and I didn't want them talking to children anymore. Like, I don't feel comfortable knowing that this person who's a dangerous, toxic person has access to kids. This is giving me like really like a cuckoo energy. Like <laughs> why are you spending so much time worried about who is online talking about you? This is giving me straight jacket energy. This, no, it, really, it honestly is. And you know, I also heard that she is over on TikTok at anyone that critiques her because you know that she likes to say that she can take criticism, but she actually can't take criticism. So now anyone that's talking Wait. about this situation that's going on on Twitter with her Jesse Smiles and Jen Dent, she's reporting and having her fans mass report them allegedly. That's and they're getting their surprising. accounts and videos taken down. That's not Why surprising. do you have so much time, Gabby Hanna? I am just so confused. No. I, you know. Doesn't she have some poetry to write? There, there, there's literally no excuse for her to act the way that she does. Gabby is still acting like she's in high school theater class. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, remember that TikTok that that girl we put in one of our videos? She's acting like the understudy for theater class for the kid that didn't get their way. And now she's trying to get her way and use her little minions that subscribe to her Patreon and pay her each month isn't to do her like, dirty work. Like she's some kind of like queen or something. Isn't it like against terms of service or something like <sighs> weaponizing? I would think like against. one would think. 
<laughs> like it's not like she's just like retweeting something like quote tweeting because you know like when you quote tweet people are obviously going to respond underneath it okay mm-hmm. it's not like she's just doing that no she is like having full ass conversations about okay this is what you need to look out for this is what's going to happen this is what's going to be it's like she's going to war <laughs> you know what it's this, crazy this is giving me very much like a cult vibe like I've seen like escaping polygamy I've seen oh all God. this different stuff documentaries on Jim Jones and stuff and that mm-hmm. is what this is giving me <laughs> Gabby Hanna is like a cult leader. I honestly, you know, I thought that things had died down with Gabby because <laughs> it's like for the first few days that everything was like going like cuckoo again. People were talking about it on my Twitter feed and I was like, okay. And then it just like died off. And I'm like, wow. Do people not care about the Gabby? Dra- down in the comment section, you guys, do you care about the Gabby drama? Cause uh, yeah. I haven't really seen much of it on Twitter. It's one of those things where it's like, some other stuff happened, like all the stuff mm-hmm. with James. So it was kind of like everybody's eyes got like shifted to that. But it's always something oh. new. Like Gabby has to do something crazier and more outlandish to get people's attention drawn back to her. It's so oh, weird. No. It's like a battle with James and Gabby right now. It's like <laughs> Gabby was getting dragged on social media. And then James was like, oh, I'm going to one up you. I'm going to upload this little video clip over here to my Twitter. Mm-hmm. And Gabby was like, oh, no, hold it. <laughs> hold it real quick. I'm going to come back. I am still not past her trying to get people to click on links to get their IP address. That is creepy. That, that is, is weird. Sketchy. That is okay. Why are you trying to get people's Remember, personal information, Gabby? What, like a week ago, wasn't she saying that she was going to sue these minors and she needed their parents yes. to sign like an NDA where they wouldn't speak about her and she wouldn't speak about them. Like what, that what is it that odd. you are doing privately to where you have to like have a child sworn to secrecy? Like she was threatening minors with legal action for talking about her on the internet. That is how much time Gabby Hanna has. She literally focuses on underage people talking about her on the internet and then goes and threatens them. You need to manage your expectations. Seriously. You really need to manage your expectations. (laughs) Honestly, she should. No, like Gabby, (laughs) she needs to chill. I'm just confused. Gabby, chill. Like, <laughs> that's what she needs to do. I don't get it. I thought that we were going to have a series by now. She was promising this, like, 13-part series. When is that coming? I'm not exactly <laughs> sure. I was at least expecting, like, a new song or, like, a poetry book or something to drop. Mm. But now it just seems like Gabby is bored and has nothing to do. So this is where we're going with the content for now. Gabby is such a linguist. Yeah. You should see the poetry. Yeah. <laughs> that, it's terrible. The spoken word was. Oh, my favorite is the irrelevant that she put on her forehead. <laughs> now, see, I, but I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt with that one because the full word wouldn't have fit on the forehead. So she made it short like that because she knew people would talk about it because Gabby ultimately wants people to talk about her. She wants to keep it going. She can sit there and say that she's just like, I'm sick and tired of people talking about me. I don't want drama, all this kind of stuff. You enjoy it, Gabby. You mm-hmm. know it. You're probably saying they're listening to all these videos well, about you. And you're, you know what good. she said? When we talk about her, we get millions. When she talks about us, she still gets millions, but it's not because of us. Sweetie hadn't had a million know. view video and I don't know how long. Well, girl, neither have I. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, but we don't have how many followers? I'm Does not she have like 12 million or something? I'm not hating, no. I mean, I'm not hating either, but you know. Does she? No, I think she has like a, she has some millions. Listen, there was a point in time where Gabby, like Gabby was popping. Like Gabby got views. People like Gabby. People engaged yeah. with Gabby, but not so much anymore. Yeah. Like Breland, but Breland found her niche. I Breland is Breland. Go subscribe to Breland on OnlyFans, <laughs> you guys, because she puts the time, the effort, the energy, everything, <laughs> the creativity into her content over there. I have not seen anyone else do it like that. And so even if you don't look at it, go just go <laughs> subscribe. Give her the five dollars, however much it is. Because but, that is great. But speaking of a whole can of crazy, mm-hmm. you know what's. What else is going on that's really crazy that, like, I'm, like, shook about? What? Ellen. Oh, God. <laughs> lost her show. No. She, well, according to her, she didn't lose her show. She wants to retire. She wants to retire at season 19. She doesn't want to go to the full 20 because 19 is just the number for her. No, oh, okay. And... It totally has nothing to do with the allegations, the workplace environment or anything that happened over the summer. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's just because it's it's the right fit for her. Yeah, no, it's not, Ellen. And I saw that interview that she did where she was discussing everything. And the whole time, the only thing I thought was she's sitting there with an attitude. She does not want to do that interview. No, she is pissed. You guys, that is a lot of money that she is not going to be bringing in. I I I will say, I think that Ellen, um, She's one of the first, like, 
I would consider Ellen a list, right? Oh yeah. She is one of the first people that is like a celebrity that I've actually seen like canceled, canceled because they canceled R Kelly and rightfully so, oh. because that was a whole thing. Like the expose and all this, all that stuff that went on with him, because we had people exposing him left and right on YouTube, like Tasha K and all them lovely T the fact that that took so long. Yeah, really. But Ellen is like one of the first celebrities that has been effectively canceled on the internet. I don't think she's canceled in the media really, but on the internet, as far as like people that watch YouTube and uh, consume entertainment this way, a lot of people don't mess with Ellen. At the end of the day, Ellen will be fine. Oh yeah. She's going to walk away. I think that's, she said in that interview, she doesn't understand. Like she thinks that it, she said that it was a calculated attack on her and it was misogynistic. Uh, that's something that okay. she said in that interview. And then she said from all of her guests, she heard nothing but praises about it, it was okay. always a great environment. It's like all your guests. Do we not remember okay. Nikki tutorials? Okay. Miss Ellen? Yeah. Let, no, hold on a minute. She said it was misogynistic attacks. Yeah. Well, what about all the women that she literally tried to get fired from different places because their uh, nail, uh, their nail polish wasn't mm -hmm. right or they didn't take a piece of gum before they came in her office? Mm -hmm. What about that? She had attacks on women. Yep. So, no, I don't want to hear that, Ellen. I don't know. I never got into her show. I thought it was boring. No, I used to love Ellen. Back in the day, there was a stand up comedy that she did that was hilarious. Mm -hmm. But like from that point on, like I started like really digging into her and like. There's been like not nice things about her throughout the years. Oh yeah, I've watched some of the compilations, like the clip where that lady took like the extra like fifty cent thing that was free or whatever, oh, and she no. called her out during the show, made her sit in the Ellen like shame oh, box. Oh well, well, what about the? Uh, there was someone I don't remember who it was that was on her show and they had an accent and Ellen like corrected them and said, "Well, can you say it right?" or something to yeah. that effect. It's something like that happened, and I was just like, "What?" Yeah. Yep, no. Ellen, go sit down somewhere. There's been whispers about Ellen for a good long while. She's tired and through. So with all that said, everyone, I'm getting dry mouth. Yeah, me too. To be honest, and a little bit of the munchies. I'm not, not going to lie. lie. I'm a little hungry. So I'm going to end the video here. Let us know all of your thoughts and opinions down below. Yeah. We have love you guys. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.